Hi, welcome back to the channel. It's Ian from Penny Glen Cabin Live. Today I wanted to give a little talk about um, what happened, what things that's happened to me in my life. And today's topic is how my heart gave me a warning shot. Right, so just before I moved up here from England, I lived in Peniston with my wife and we had the opportunity to move up here to Scotland. So when we moved here, we have all the facilities here to do everything with the dogs. I've got the water, the woodland, the paddock, I've got everything. And um, I would, at that time, I used to have three, four litters a year. And I would keep a puppy out of each litter. And then I would do basic training on that puppy. And then I would sell that on as a part trained dog. I did that quite a lot with the puppies. And I was training and I was going to... I was competing in competitions and everything and at that time I had a carpet cleaning business and then I had the internet businesses so we had, we had quite a lot of money coming in at that time and things were going really well and this one day I had to go to hospital for a test for something so they took me, I was actually in the ambulance on transport and they took me through and when I was on the ambulance I had a heart attack so they rushed me straight to the hospital. They said I had a grade one blockage in my heart. So they kept me in overnight, did lots of tests, and then they decided that uh, they was gonna release me, but I had to have beta blockers and blood pressure tablets and everything like that. So later on, a few months later, I had to go for tests and they found that I had heart disease and I've got angina and high blood pressure and things like that and they said that what was wrong was i was doing too much i was doing far too much and my body would just give me a warning shot and they said that you was very very lucky that you got a warning shot most people don't get that it just takes them and on my mum's side of the family heart attacks were very very prominent most of the men in the families had heart attacks going back in the generations. Now I didn't know that at the time. And I always remember I came back and I thought to myself, I felt rough, I did, I felt really rough and I had that heart attack. And to be honest with you, for years and years later I felt rough. And me being me, I just thought to myself, well if I knuckle down back into doing everything I were doing and I'll be fine, absolutely fine. I'll, I'll get back to normal, I'll be great. And for a week or so I was feeling rough, I was dragging myself around and my friend Ian came to see me and I didn't realise this but Ian and Tracy had had a talk and Tracy was saying that I was struggling and I couldn't carry on the way I was doing it, it'll kill me and all this so they, call, they called me over and I had a talk with them and Ian said, I always remember and Ian said to me look you've had a warning shot, most people never get that he says you need to really just strip everything down and go to virtually nothing and just just live an easy life he said you can't carry on like this and Tracy were crying and she said you know you, you could die with all this and just take it easy now so I sold the internet business I got rid of the carpet cleaning business as well I reduced all my dogs dramatically and like now I only have two litres a year and then two litres are enough to sustain me so I might get a few studs here and there so, uh, so I, I just take it easier now than I've, I, I have done for many many years don't get me wrong the dogs keep me busy all the time but and it, like now I'm starting to feel a bit stronger in myself like I've said before in my videos and I'm starting to do a bit of building work now and get jobs done outside and everything every day so yeah so what I would say to anybody that is unlucky enough to have a heart problem or if they have a heart attack to sit down put your life into perspective and think to yourself well what have I got and what could I lose it's as simple as that and looking back now if my mate Ian had to sat me down and talked to me I'll be honest I probably wouldn't be here today because he gave me a good talk to and I came away from that conversation I thought ah nah he's got no idea and then as the weeks went on and I was feeling more and more run down I thought ah he's right here 
so I did what, what had to be done. Unfortunately, part of that cost was my wife left and went back to England. She found it was too rural a way of life. She liked it. She was a, a town and a city person where I weren't. So I'm here on my own now and to be honest with you, like I say, I've reduced everything and I genuinely feel happier now than I've ever been. And I don't mean because the light's gone. But I just mean I'm more content in my life and I potter about, take things more easy. Um, my health is stabilising a lot more now. I know that I've got more problems because my epilepsy started down, which I didn't have for many years. But you just, you've got to manage with what you've got in life, haven't you? So, so that's about that for me and my life. So I've told a little bit more about my life. And I'm going to see you again tomorrow. So tune in and I'll see you again tomorrow down at the cabin. And what I would say to anybody is if your health is bad, sit down, think what you've got, what you could lose and make the big decisions that need to be done. And that's what I did. I reduced everything. I stopped all the stress in my life and I'm here today because I did that and I would tell anybody and everybody the same thing if you get a heart attack it is a warning shot and you listen to your body and you listen to your heart just before I sign off I'm going to add at the end of this video a little short video of the puppies today's video so I will catch you later. There's a few adverts that's going to come on at the end. Uh, a few thumbnail adverts, I should say. And I'll see you again tomorrow down at the cabin. Stay safe. Stay well.